sun's coming up now. What's good everyone? It is winter. I've fallen off a little bit lately. Like my training's still been like hard, training heavy. But uh, you know, when it comes to like carrying macros every day and things like that, kind of um I've got a bit lazy with that. So it's time to properly get back on track and make some gains this winter, you know. So we're gonna completely start from scratch, make this a series. Um, I haven't eaten anything, so I'm going to weigh myself in a second. I had a, little, I had a cup of water, so I'm going to um, influence the weighing a little bit as well as i got jumps and stuff on. I'm not taking them off because it is cold. But first meal here we have um, 200 grams of Chobani yogurt and then 90 of the oats. So we're going to track macros, show you what I do for training, all this stuff, and uh, get stronger and bigger this winter. And then we can shred down in the summer and show off, you know, all our progress for the year. So, um, I've got my, my yogurt, my banana, a cup of water here, another one. I always just get up and have a cup of water in the morning. That's why I did it um, by accident. I forgot to weigh myself, but um, still shouldn't be too, too bad. And uh, we'll go and weigh myself now, actually, and see, you know, what we're starting off with. And we'll set up together. Um, my maintenance macros because I haven't done that for a while. I know they used to be about 3200, 3300 um, Just to work out what your body burns Just doing whatever you do through the day and what you should be eating or plus if you want to get bigger So work that out by like individually. I'm well, not individually. You can do it too, but You'll see me do it and how I do it and uh, yeah, it's all good news. So let's go and see how heavy we are. We have it with, oh, I missed, it was 83. I don't know how to turn this shit off, it does it all the time. So 71 plus the 12.6. 83.7. Let's get the chubs in the winter. You watch out. So yeah, 83.7. But like I said, I was, um, I've been up for at least half an hour and drank water. And have on a heap of like couple layers, so let's just say it's it's 82, maybe 82 and a half on a good day. But yeah, I start off with like 82. And um, other than that, I think that's the full intro. Like, what else could we go over? Got a video uploading right now. Um, let's work out our macros together now. Put the camera down. Okay, I think that's good enough. So, what I do is I go to this website, or you can just type in what's my maintenance calories. It'll come straight up. Okay, you want to go to free dieting. I really like that one. So easy to use. And here you go. So, you chuck in your stats. 21 years old, male, or if you're female, tick that. Kilograms will say... Oh, we'll just say 83 here, um, you know, just for now, because I, I think that 0.7 would be clearly like water weight, and I mean not water weight, the, the water we drank and things like that, so centimeters, I think, 510, I think it's like 177, and we train, we train daily boys, and calculate, so, Maintenance, 28.50, and that could be a little bit low actually, 28.50, so we want to eat at least that. The other thing we can do is go to my fitness pal and have a look here. So you just get two references to go off, you know, what we should be eating. Okay, daily nutrition goals, edit. Oh no, we want to, we want to go to the basic view guided set up here so it'll tell us what it thinks we need to eat so here we go so as it says nutrition goals 3200 kind of what I thought uh, 3240 officially and I'm going to go that rather than this calculator because just say if you did do the 2800 thinking you're fine that's 400 less than you could actually require so when you go off this my fitness pal is you know uh, really respected, so I feel like that's the way to go. And it 
it's going to go off the 40 40 20 I'm pretty sure 40 percent uh, carbs protein 20 percent of your intake fats which would probably give you this number I'm looking at but if you look 100 gram 108 grams of fat 162 grams of protein I mean, that's a lot of fat, so I'm going to tweak it, so we're going to go to, how do you do that, I'm going to go to goals, 3240, so we have our number, and 400 grams of carbs, that's pretty cool, alright, here we are, so daily nutrition goals, <clears throat> oh look, it's on a, it set itself to a 50, 30, 20, so what we're going to do is pull, pull the fats down, and protein up. So 25% would put us on 203 grams, 25% fat would put us on 90 grams, 50% of our calories would put us on 400 carbs. So that's pretty solid macros there. Some people might say 200 grams is too much because what's 83? 83 kg to pounds, because Americans work in pounds, 183 pounds officially so you could say you could have you know one gram per uh you know pound of body weight so if i had 180 i'd probably be cool but there's no harm in in uh, having a little bit too much protein you know that's the that's the one that makes you put the muscle on it's the only it's the only macronutrient that can help you put muscle on so why would you want to keep it you know a little bit lower and not be giving your body as much as it needs. I would rather have a little bit more, give your body more protein than it needs, so it has no trouble at using it to put on muscle mass, because that's what we want to do. That's what we're here for, that's why we lift, that's why we're tracking macros, so... That is it. Now, I should probably eat before my yogurt like, gets all soggy and stuff, and, uh... What's the time now? So 7.30, been up 45 minutes, haven't eaten yet, it's probably not a good start to a bulking kind of series, but, uh... Yeah, so I'll eat this, eat my banana. And I reckon about half an hour, 8 o'clock, we'll head to the gym and hit a heavy leg session. Um, along with trying to, like, my macros and stuff getting, you know, my macros haven't been that good, but my training has been, um, I've been implementing, you know, like a strength first kind of compound movements and then doing my um, hypertrophy stuff after it. Now, I'll take you through my training as well in this series because it's really, really paying off, so... It'll be squat straight up, um, you know, heavy five reps for like four sets, three, three or four sets before moving into other stuff. Really trying to build up my hamstrings as well and things like that. But you'll see it all and I'll run you through it and hopefully, you know, this series goes all right, shows you exactly what you can do to get that little bit bigger, make the biceps a little bit more rounder. So I'll see you soon. All right. So it's five to eight. Time to... Head to the gym real soon. There you go, five to eight. Uh, here's the gym bag. Got some water in there. Change the clothes. Uh, got the belt, most importantly. Do you know what? I should probably just make a video on like what's in my gym bag. Uh, but for now, I'm going to get the subs ready. So this one is for the two scoops of Venom WPC we're going to be using. Put a bit of creatine in there. And I've got a good story with this as well. That's a police... Like, uh, I got tested at a lab because I thought it was cocaine, so I could probably make a video on that as well. So, uh, five grams of creatine, two scoops of whey in there, about 60 grams, and this one's just for Gatorade. So, that's the sups today. Actually, that's not all the sups. Forgot about the pre, so this one's for the pre. And, uh, I remember I need to check the oil, so I parked the car up here, so just some quick me mechanic work. Man, it is cold outside. Um, yeah, do some quick mechanic work. And then we'll go to the gym. But just going to take another five minutes probably. Just going to pop the hood. What a good park next to the tree. Damn it. The handy subway serviette on deck. The windows, bro. So cold it's on the outside. Okay, this is the pre here. Venom pre as well. It's love. It's an Australian brand actually, so it's really good value. So I buy. 
Venom and I can't open it one handed. But when I do get it, okay. When I do get fuck my life. Okay, when I do get it, you see that I'm nearly out of it. That's not good. Phone. Okay, I'm nearly out of it. Um, but see the scooper is really small. I don't know if you can see that. So it's probably about half the size of a normal pre-workout scooper. So you put in three scoops of that. Um, the recommend is two for one serving, but three like, seems to work really well without having too much caffeine. I'll have a look at the back if anyone that wants to be as interested in this. So here's the raspberry. So it's got, uh, see, 120 milligrams of caffeine. A per serve is, is two scoops, right? So if you had three, you get like, what, 150? 170 grams of milligrams of caffeine. It's got uh, beta in there, uh, citrine, malate. Like there you go. So it's pretty much it. It's pretty basic, and um, yeah. So we'll put that in the water, sip on it for probably like a minute or two while the car kind of warms up properly, and then we're heading to the gym. And it's, and it's only like a five minute drive, so it's so close. So let's go do that. Okay, we're here. So I'm finished my pre. So I'm just gonna. Um, yeah, the raspberry actually tastes really good. It's like, it's like cordial almost. Um, over in the background, there it is. Anytime Black Forest, that's where I train. It's pretty close. And look at just in front of me here. Four people trying to get to work. Look how slow the traffic is. Prime time between like 8 and 8 and 8.30 towards 9. Let's look at it, it's built up so far. And this is like South Road. So this will go all the way. Up there, you can't even see it. It's big intersection, and then further around to the city. It's it's just ridiculous. They're moving now, though, at least. But yeah, so I'll just chill for a little bit. Um, at 12, I'm actually gonna come back. Oh, phone, stop doing that. There's a hairdresser over there, so I'm gonna get my hair cut at 12:45. At 4:30, I'm going to a um, house inspection. So. Pretty big day, and then 7:30 work. Finish at midnight. I'll do it all again tomorrow. This phone is retarded. Stop it. There you go. Done. I'll, uh, I've got the car started because I was just about to leave, but I thought I'd run through what happened because I'd only recorded like one set of squats. Uh, so I get a lot of people in there. Two, I was by myself, so it's really hard to hold the camera. And um, yeah, just kind of talked to a guy in there. It's really cool talking about competing and stuff because I haven't competed yet, but I want to. So run through real quick. Uh, when my brother comes up, I'll make sure to record full workouts. He'll be here in a few weeks, but squats. Built up to like warm up pyramid to my three plate, which is the set you would have seen. Then took one off for two plate, did two sets of that for eight reps each. Then took another one off, so pyramid back down to single plate, rep that for 14 or 15, I think it was. So that. Then I went on to um, someone walking, hopefully they don't look at me like I'm a retard. Just wait one second. Got my protein on deck here. Banana is actually a really good flavour. Okay, she's got she's over there. So anyway, um, okay. Squats, then went on to laying hamstring. Now here's where I tried something different. So talking to this guy I kinda made me want to try a different training style. So it's laying leg press, pyramid up to a good weight, because start off light, I don't want to be snapping hamstrings and stuff, right? So built up to like 39 kilos, I think it was, it wasn't super heavy, but it'll rep out like 13 reps of those. Then have a 15 set 10, 10 or 15 second break, go again, same weight three times then uh, then into a drop set so you get the exercise over and done with quick still hit your four or five rep uh, sets but the, sh the break is so short it hurts like it's the pumps unreal so I did that moved on to leg extension same thing 
then move on to leg press. Um, same thing, short breaks with, for everything else I did today. Um, had like three plate on there, put my legs high to hit more hamstrings. This is new. If you really want to know exactly like how to hit more hamstrings, stuff like that, I can go through it in more depth you know, in a later video. I did that and then started calves. So I stayed on the leg press, but this time I only had two plate on, repped out calves. My knee bent a little bit to get full contraction on it. Short breaks again, 15 seconds or so. Then, hopefully that's not too loud, and then on to seated calves. I started talking to the dude and I forgot his name already. <laughs> and then did some abs. So it's like hanging leg raises, 15 second break, pumped out real quick, four sets for sets of 12. And then did some seated, three sets, just for 10 second break. It was hurting so much. I only got six on the last one. And that's the workout. So it took just a bit over an hour. Uh, could have pumped it out a bit quicker because because the sets were so short, because of those short breaks, I mean, could have got it done so much quicker. But that's the workout. I'm gonna sip on my protein while I drive home. And I don't even know what we're gonna do while we're home because it's like 10 o'clock now, so we've got two hours until I need my haircut, so. 170 chicken. I'm gonna chuck in a crumb chicken. So that's gonna be another 150, okay? And then, then, should we be in here? Oh yeah, I'll have one of these. Special fried rice, bought them today. Easy. All right, so when I finish this meal and my up and go, um, this actually has like 20 grams of protein in it, these energized ones. They're sick, you probably can't see it, but protein, 17 grams, something like that. Um, when I finish this, I've already had 166 grams of protein, 2,000 calories. Like, how good is that? As it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon, so that's really good news. It wouldn't be if I'd had 2,000 calories already and I was cutting, but we're trying to get bigger, so 3,240 is the minimum we're having. We did a heavy training, or heavy in, heavy on squats, and then our hypertrophy training, like uh, I would have explained earlier. So we've done that. Now it's just, you know, do what we have to do on the rest of the day. I still gotta make a few phone calls and then just eat. That's how you get bigger. <sighs> so it is now two. Sorry, let me clear my notifications. Okay. 2.57. So I was having this big debate in my head of whether I should have a nap or not because I have to leave to go check this house out. I'll take the camera to and record, but I have to leave and go check this house out at about four, because it's 4.30, takes me to 20 to drive there. I'm gonna be there a bit early, so four o'clock I'm gonna leave, so I have an hour to use. I've gotta have a nap. Uh, I went and got my hair cut. It's nice and shorter now. Hopefully easier to, you know, maintain. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's gonna be worthwhile. I'm actually, just got off the phone with Australian Institute of Personal Trainers. I'm gonna do my diploma of fitness through them, I'm, I'm pretty sure, so. That's really good news. Um, hopefully, I'll have that by the end of the year. Um, but yeah, just I think leg training just took it out of me. Those, those like short rests, so sore and I keep yawning, but I've decided to pull through, have a sugar-free monster. And that should be good because, like I said, house inspection, 4.30. That should only go for like 20 minutes. I'll be home by 5. And then I have to work at Woolies at 7.30. Um, when I get home, I think I'll cook up because I run out of food. Normally, I have a heap of food in the fridge. I can just eat what I want when I want. And macros are super easy then. But I've got some kangaroo to cook when I get home. So, I think that's it for the updates. Like, um, yeah, all i got to do is pretty much go check this house out, take the camera, record that. But soon after, maybe I'll show you what I cook and what I eat for the rest of the day. But that's pretty much how I wrap the video up. Just ruined, man. It's three o'clock and I'm thinking about a nap already. Like, what's going on? So, let's update. Um, we're doing another video. I run two channels. So, even though it's like I only work four and a half hours tonight, I'm getting so much done. It's almost like a day off. It's really good. So, oh, I'll check in with you soon. Burning through my crunchy nut too quick. Mm. 
be cute. Right, it's quarter to one, and I'm finally home. Just got some kangaroo on. Um, eat that, and then pretty much go to bed because I need to get up, and start working at three tomorrow, and train before that. So, pretty much going to wrap it up here. The house inspection only lasts like ten minutes. Um, most of the time, I just take Snapchats to the people that are going to move in with me if we go there. So, wasn't anything really special. Not too keen on it, so I didn't really uh, record anything, but. Yeah, that's the day, um, and I guess I'll wrap the video up here, I mean I've got enough clips to kind of, you know, make the video long enough, otherwise I'll just do a second day, but yeah, let's wrap up this day, episode one of, I think we'll call the series like, hmm, what are we going to call it, something about gaining weight, gaining strength, getting bigger, things like that, so thanks for watching guys, uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you soon.